y'all, APG Janie here, and uh, over on the art desk, we're going to work on these elephant cards, balloon style. I'm using super glue, and I'm putting it on the neck of the balloon, and I'm going to flip up that little opening just a little bit. I'm not gluing the opening closed, okay? I'm just going to flip it up a little bit. I'm going to get my pokey tool to help me. Now, um, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, and then I'm going to set a little bottle of craft paint on there to kind of hold it down in a minute because, you know, you got to hold it for a minute because it's got to dry super close, dries quick. Be careful, don't get it on your fingers. Okay, what am I going to hold it down with? Bottle of glue or bottle of paint. There we go. So I had this piece of scratch uh, paper over there and I cut it out into my elephant body part. And I'm just going to trace it out and then cut it out. Now, I first saw a uh, caged fish. Carla posted a picture of her balloon elephant quite some time ago, y'all. And I thought, I, I contacted her. I said, now, now, Carla, I want to make me some of these. You okay with that? She said, oh, sure, absolutely. She said, APG Jamie, you just go right ahead on. So that's, that's what I'm doing. It's been quite some time ago, and I'm finally getting around to it. Thanks, Carla. Uh, link in the description box below, along with the list of ingredients and in the eye cards up the right hand corner. So, um, I cut a portion of the balloon out of the back, and I'm going to be super gluing pieces of that little balloon so it's not all, I don't know, it just bubbled up. It was weird, y'all. Mine doesn't look as good as hers, but anyway, still doing it. Um, so, glued that with the super glues, ink it around my body part. I cut um, a little thing, a little eyeline, not eyeliner, out of, the, out of some of the extra paper. And this is my floating paint paper. And I'll link to that video up the right hand corner in, in the description box below the video. Um, that's what I'm inking around right there. Now I confused myself. I paused and thought for a second there. Now I don't know where I was going. I don't know what I was talking about. What's me? I'm putting some super glue on the back because I have those um, pieces of white cardstock that uh, scrap cardstock. I used an oval punch on. So I'm gluing that to the balloon with the super glue so I can later on glue that part to the um, greeting card. Okay. I'm just going to use my ball of craft paint over there to hold that on. Now we're getting some foam tape I'm going to put on the on the back of the eye line thing that I made. Just I just used a piece of scratch painty paper and cut it out. And uh, if I didn't show that already, I will show it. I'm just so confused sometimes. Hey, it was my birthday yesterday. I can be confused. So I'm peeling off the release paper, and uh, I apologize if my voice over gets out of sync with my video, because you know that happens a lot. I also apologize for the noise in the background, because it's cold here today. So I got my heater on out here in the studio, because my husband's been home with me, so you know. I'm out here voicing over. He's in there, napping and watching the TVs. So that's the little eye line thing I made. I'm going to, uh, gosh, I'm going to try to glue them Google eyes on here. Oh, goodness gracious. Thank goodness for, uh, you know, baby wipes, y'all. So here comes my Google eyes. I'm just going to use that glue that just spilled out all over the place. And I'm going to glue that on there. And they sometimes look in different directions. Some of the eyes are closer together than other eyes. And that's just the way it goes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wipe away some of that extra glue because I seem to have gotten a lot of glue on this one. Okay. Now, these are butterfly wings, and I have different pieces of ephemera. These just happen to be some, um, looks like cards. No, not cards. Um, what's this stuff called? Chipboard. <laughs> oh, bless my heart, y'all. Thank you. So, I'm just painting them with some craft paint. And uh, it's a butterfly, you know, that I cut in half and cut the little body off of. Because we don't need that part. Because we're going to turn these into elephant ears. Elephant. And uh, what am I doing? Oh, there's... What am I doing? Oh, I'm cutting out some little tiny butterflies. 
Bites with the Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch, y'all. I'm going to glue them on butterfly wings. They're going to become ears. <laughs> Think about that for a moment. Hey, gun, y'all. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys watch me. <laughs> so glad you're part of my community. I like Injun. So let's glue these butterflies onto the butterfly wings that are going to become elephant ears. <laughs> it's just so funny when I say it out loud. Try it. Say it out loud. <laughs> I'm just using my pokey tool to help me position them because I want them to kind of look the same. You know, even though our ears are not the same on both sides of their head, you just can't see it at the same time because you can't see both sides of your head at the same time. Mm-mm. -mm. Just getting to it. Well, you'd have to take a picture of one side and take a picture of the other side and then put them together in a picture. Okay. So here we go with our body. And I'm going to use some ATG. And uh, that's what I'm using. I didn't use a mat. I probably should have, but I didn't use a mat. Now, you know, how you put mats on the cards and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not using it. Just using a lot of that ATG and I'm going to stick it right there on my card base. That's a store-bought card base. You can get them in multicolors like that. They're real pretty. Just sticking it down. Straighten it up. A little off screen. It's okay. You love me anyway. So if you have a little bit of that uh, double-sided tape that sticks out, you can just uh, hit it with an eraser, you know, one of the pink erasers, and it just takes it right off. So there I'm trying them on for size, and I think I like where they are. So I'm going to glue them on. I should have left my elephant face on there so I could get them lined up, but I didn't. So, But it still works out in the end. It just all works out in the end, y'all. Just saying. I'm really happy with them. I think they're stinking funny and cute. And, you know, I'm all about the funny and cute because you just need to have fun when you're arting. Okay? You don't need that arty-farty, hoity-toity, be serious to make art. Okay, because art is serious enough on its own. It doesn't need you to add that kind of art shiitake mushroom to it. So there we go. Number one. I make six. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. card lottery. So there I'm cutting out the little eyeliner part that I'm going to glue the google eyes on i just took a little strip of that paper and just cut it in whatever shape i felt like that i wanted to do and i'm going to ink around it and i ink around the bodies okay about the card lottery if you're interested uh shoot me an email let me know because i'm going to need your mailing address to put you in the card lottery okay now all you people that are in the card lottery already and those coming up in the future now okay i'm just saying let me know Please, please let me know when you get them. Okay? You don't get them every month because it's a lottery. But you do get them probably at least once every 12 months or so. All right? But please let me know when you get them because I don't know if I got the wrong address. It got misdirected. You decided to move and you didn't tell me your new address because, you know, I'm not a mind reader. Well, I am a mind reader, but I'm not that kind of a mind reader. All right, y'all. Please just let me know you got them. Okay, car lottery ride nice and safe at my house. APT Jamie. So, any hoots, moving along. That's enough of that. So, we're putting on foam on the back of that eyeliner piece. It's not an eyeliner, it makes an eyeliner. It makes lines, eyes, and line. And this happens to be a, sh a shimmery, fancy paper uh, butterfly that I cut in half. Okay. Oh, and on that foam tape, I'm going to put some super glue because remember, we're gluing to rubber. And there's a whole lot of glue that won't stick to that. I did a lot of testing before I did this project. Okay? So, super glue is your best bet. And if you had tire repair glue, you know, that whatever that kind of glue is and to repair your bicycle tires that you can't find into Walmarts anymore, that would probably work. But I don't know because I didn't test it because I couldn't find any. So, I used super glue. E6000 does not work. It did not work for me, so it's not going to work for you. I'm, I'm, I'm unanimous in that. 
They're glowing on our Google eyes. <laughs> These are so stinking cute and funny, and I just love them. So here's my store-bought card base. As you can see, I'm kind of going color-coordinated here. Not totally, just some, because, yeah, it's what I do sometimes. You're moving on to the sentiments inside. Oh, I'm using some washi tapes. They're all getting the same kind of washi tapes. And I'm putting glue on washi tapes because, you know, you need to glue because it doesn't stick real good. It'll come loose. So I'm gluing it. And I have some computer printed uh, words and phrases that I computer printed. I know. I, yeah. And I'm going to stick them in here. I'm going to ink around it mm -hmm, and stick it in there. Oh, get that glue off my fingers with that there little baby wipe. Okay. So I'm adding a little sentiment on the inside. Now I make envelopes, but I don't show you uh, uh, making envelopes because we all know how to make envelopes. Or probably do. And uh, now I'm stamping the back because y'all know I stamp the backs of my cards with my little purple door because that's the name of my studio, my purple door studios. And uh, now I'm putting the year on there because it's 2019 already, y'all. It is. Or it was 2019, depending on when you watch the video. And I'm stamping my name on there. Mm hmm. A P T Jamie. Photo montage. <laughs> I appreciate uh, y'all, your likes, your kind comments, your subscriptions. Be sure to click the little bell for notifications of new videos and upcoming live events. <laughs> Cross your fingers that the internet works. Thanks for watching and happy art, y'all.